हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हियर इज आशु गुप्ता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर वेलकम्स यू ऑल ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ द इंटरप्रेस लॉ कॉलेज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द वेरियस टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स यू मे सी इट एंड टेक बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दीज लेक्चर्स एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मोड्स ऑफ रिकग्निशन वाट इज द Uh, concept behind the modes of the recognition uh, according to the subject of international law for the previous things meaning or the nature of the recognition you may search out the previous lectures and take benefit from these things so now let's uh, discuss about today's topic and uh, understand the whole concept of the modes of recognition which is elaborated in the chapter of recognition uh, in that uh, international law subject so uh, if we talk about the modes of recognition there are two modes for the declaration of recognition given in the subject of international law the first one is simply says that express recognition and the second one is implied recognition so there is two types uh, two modes of recognition express recognition or the implied recognition if we talk about the express recognition uh, that is basically the declaration or notification by an existing state which purports the intention to recognize a newly born state so the recognition is said to be express recognition in the other words you can say that uh, when uh, a formal and uh, the express declaration or statement is made and published or sent to the opposite party this is the basic simple meaning of express recognition the second one is implied recognition when the existing state shows its intention of recognition of a newly born state by some acts then the recognition is said to be implied recognition so if we uh, that is just like a express contract or the implied contract nothing else in the other words if we talk about the implied recognition you can say that in case of implied recognition no formal statement or declaration is to be made rather the intention of recognition is to be collected by the acts or transactions of the existing state so if such act purport intention of recognition is said to be implied recognition hope you will clear uh, the whole things about the modes of the recognition two modes of the recognition uh, the first one is express recognition and the implied recognition it's uh, so simple to understand just like a express contract or the imp- uh, implied contract now the other topic which will cover in that lecture is also a conditional recognition sometimes that topics emerge into your question paper in four marks so uh, that's why we are discussing about that in that lecture that is called a conditional recognition what is conditional recognitions means that uh, the grant of recognition by an existing state to a newly born state is stipulated on fulfillment some conditions 
in addition to the requirements of the statehood is said to be conditional recognition as so far as uh, the recognition is concerned it is itself conditioned with the fulfillment of the essentials of statehood that is to say the new state must occupy some territory has some population government and sovereignty which is already discussed by in the prior lectures if these requirements have been complied with by the new state then that should be recognized by existing state but as far as the recognition is concerned it is usually based on some political considerations so in the pursuance of these considerations the existing state sometimes recognition but stipulated with certain other conditions for the recognized state to be fulfilled so that is the whole concept behind the conditional recognition but as you know about the meaning of the conditional recognition there is also a part of criticism which is given by the many jurists regarding the conditional recognition in the subject of international law who says that uh, recognition is a conditional recognition is a legal matter and it should not be accompanied with condition other than required by law and uh, if state didn't fulfill the prescribed condition the recognition shall be valid and not extinguished rather it will affect the relations between the recognized and recognizing state so that is a criticism regarding the conditional recognition which is given by the many jurist in the subject of international law hope uh, you will have been enjoyed the whole session and understand the whole concept uh, which is enumerated it into your study very well and be benefited from this lecture we will meet soon again with the next lecture and discuss about the withdrawal of the recognition so thank you very much and wait for a next lecture